Hello everyone, Larry King here coming to you from New York City. The city that never sleeps and yours truly, who can take a nap and interview guests at the same time. Tonight we interview the Republicans' great white hope for the next presidential election, from that great big empty wasteland up in the great white north they call Alaska and the most beautiful right-winger of them all, Sarah Palin. Oh. Thanks so gall darn much Larry, you hope Les Nielsen ratings disaster and that big loge picture of softball questions. So Sarah. I haven't seen you in a long long time. You look so different. How so Larry? You look so much smaller. Why thanks a bunch Larry. I have been cutting back on ding dongs, twinkies and mayonnaise and Crisco sandwiches. No 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 you Republican puppet. I was referring to your chest. Your chest looks smaller. You mean my campaign war chest? No. You right winger nutbag. You rack. Oh. I gotcha. Iraq. We need to fight terrorism all over the globe. Iran is just the beginning. No. I was complaining that your Iraq is so much smaller. Not Iran. Well that's why I ran for governor of the great state of Alaska. So, as to help the people of these United States, I will be running hard as the dickens all over this great country of ours. Sarah Palin. Isn't it true the only reason you were chosen by the Republicans in the first place is that people just cannot keep their eyes off of you? I mean, really Sarah, aren't you just a sexy sexy political marionette that the right-wing puppeteers lustfully control for their own political perversion? Larry. Wait one darn country minute. I was never at the Marriott starring in some sexy puppet porn show. Howdy do to you and who's your daddy? Larry. You sick geezer. For heaven's sake. I will bring a civil suit against you and your communist news network company. You mean you'll pose in your bathing suit with your AK-47? Larry, maybe you need to go to the men's room and relieve some tension? Sarah baby I'm at full attention now and I don't need to go to the men's cause I'm wearing my depends. Oh good heavens. Ladies and gentlemen don't touch that remote. Leave it on CNN and we will be right back with our guest Sarah Palin. Hello, Larry King here with Sarah Palin. So Sarah Palin, what about the dust up you had about the repudiate word? Glad you asked that Larry. I still repudiate what the liberal press reported what I said about this. Those liberals from the East Coast Ivory League and all. Ivy League. Right, the ivory leaders of the liberal press just come all unglued in their dockers, just because I said that that Billy Shakespeare liked to spend some coin on Newsome words also. I remember that we read in high school about one of Willard Shakespeare's famous plays, Doom. What was that guy in that play called? I think he was in those Burger King commercials? You mean the Sherlock Holmes character in Hound of the Baskersvilles? No Larry, not Baskin Robbins. The guy with the crown on his head in the Burger King commercials? The Lion King? Oh not even close Larry. It was a play like the modern day movie picture show I saw that had Leonardo de Octopello and Kate Winslow on that boat in the Pacific. South Pacific. No. It was the gigantic. They were lovers on a gigantic boat that crashed and all and it was real sad at the end. Oh. You mean Titanic? Yes. That's it. Willard Shakespeare did a movie about two lovers that were taken away from each other's. Oh. That must be William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. That's it. And that play we saw in high school had the Lion King guy in it. You must mean the play called King Lear. That's it. Billy Shakespeare's character Norman Lear would drop coin on all kinds of new words and colorful phrases. Like I said before on the Twitter book, peaceful Muslims should be in refugiation about the New York mosque being built near Coke Zero. Don't you mean Ground Zero? That's all we have time for. I would like to thank my guest Sarah Palin. And don't forget about tomorrow's show when I'll have Angel Gabor and her co-star Arnold the Pig with their new movie. Porky I love you but give me back Pork Avenue.